Hello everyone, today we are taking a look at this JBL boombox that I bought online for only $25. Yes, you heard me right. So why is it so cheap? Well, that's because it's a copy, or some of you like to call it a fake JBL. So obviously, the build and sound quality will not be the same as the original, but is the speaker worth $25? Well, that's what we're going to find out today, but before we do that, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing because it does help and motivate me to make more videos like this. Alright, starting from the top, we have the handle that has a rubbery feel to it, but you also notice that the word on it seems odd. It says Booms Box, not Boom Box. Right below the handle are the controls. It has the power button close to the middle, which you have to hold down in order for the speaker to turn on. The minus and plus are for changing the tracks or volume of the speaker. You just short press for changing the songs and a long press if you want to control the volume. You have your menu button to switch to either Bluetooth, FM, TF, USB or auxiliary. On the far right is the player pause button. The one right next to it is for activating the TWS feature. To activate it, just simply hold it down for more than 3 seconds and you will hear a beep and the lights starts blinking in a different way. Lastly, to power off the speaker, just hold down the power button. Right in the center of the front grille is the JBL logo, which doesn't feel like plastic but some kind of metal. On the bottom, you will find LEDs which only come on when you plug in the charger. They don't blink or even show you how much battery capacity is left but they will turn off when it's done charging. The speaker charges at half an amp and it takes around 3 hours and 50 minutes for it to fully charge, which is not fast but you can have it charged overnight while you sleep. The bottom of the speaker looks nice and it doesn't feel that cheap. There is not a lot going on in the back but close to the bottom, you will find your inputs. Let's take a look at those right now. It has a rubber cover to keep the water out and you have four different inputs. From the left to the right, you have the micro USB port for charging, the USB port, auxiliary port, and the TF slot for your micro SD card. It has two passive radiators which are located on the sides and the logo is actually metal, not a sticker, but it's actually glued on in a weird position. And surprisingly, it does move, so it's not just for the looks. The other thing I noticed about the passive radiators is that one moves if you push the other passive radiator, which tells me it's actually airtight. So it's a good thing, but I'm still going to check it later if there's any leaks. Just keep in mind though that it doesn't move all the time, it just depends on the song and it will definitely move with heavy bass music, at a certain volume of course. The speaker weighs 1.45 kilos which is a little over 3 pounds, so it does have some weight to it. The playtime is more than 6 hours when I used it, but it will be different for you because it all depends on the volume and the type of music you listen to. Speaking of music, it's time to give this bad boy a sound test and see what it can do. Enjoy.
So what did you guys think? Well, here are the things that I like about the speaker. It doesn't sound good, but it also doesn't sound that bad. It's like right in between. The design and build quality is actually good. I like how it's easy to skip or go to the previous track, unlike the original. The playtime is beyond my expectation. Usually fake JBLs don't go past 6 hours when I use them. And lastly, I like how they did not include any voices to tell you what mode you're on, because that usually is loud and annoying at times. Here are the things that I dislike about the speaker. The startup sound, the Bluetooth being connected sound, the shutdown sound, and even the low battery warning are too loud. The USB port does not supply 5 volts, so when the battery gets low, the USB port will not work properly and you won't be able to play music from it. So is this worth $25? For me, it's a no. Just because there are other speakers in this price range, that actually sounds better than this. So maybe around $20 is okay, but that's just my opinion. Anyways, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.